back with a bronze artist, if you will. Uh, he is both Bronze Smith Fine Art Foundry and Gallery Carl Wolf. Nice to have you with us, Carl. Thank you for letting me be here. Thank you. Well, I tell you, you're a man of many talents because I know you, you've been doing patinas for like 22 years or something like that, <laughs> but you're also a sculptor. Did you start sculpting at the same time? I did. Back, back in high school, Prescott High School, I, I went to a foundry to learn how it was, how clay went to bronze and yeah. just kind of learned each step and from the beginning to the end and found a love in it because I was a painter, so I do a lot of painting. That's what kind of... Ah, okay. So you decided we'll try this three-dimensional thing too. Right. Well, now, these are all your works as well. These yes. are your bronzes. They're beautiful. I oh, mean, you sculpt, you. it looks like, okay, wildlife. You're specializing in wildlife. Mm -hmm. Why do you like them the best? I, I love animals. I love being outside in nature um, and just the, just the passion of it. The animal, How do you, yeah. Amazing world. I know. Yeah. It is totally. Okay, now obviously you don't have these these people in studio. How do you, because they are really detailed, Carl, mm -hmm. and really realistic. How do you get your models? How do you manage to make them look so, so breathable? Uh, just a lot of studying, you yeah. know, drawing and, and, and learning the animal and seeing them in nature and things and, yeah. and just having just being out there and seeing them. And is, then that is, passion it, that you it have is. too. Yeah. Okay, so I have to ask, um, a patina is something that goes on the bronze after it's been cast. What, tell me exactly, what is a patina, a patina Carl? A patina is actually a bronze that gets heated up with a, the with a torch to about 250 degrees or more. Okay. And I apply different chemicals on that bronze, which uh, can make it darker or lighter. And it, it, you can shade it like you would a painting. So I mix a lot of different colors, squirt bottles, airbrushes, and things. And it's just, it's really fun because yeah. I have a wide range of being able to do contemporary or realism. And I work with so many well-known artists that- Because I, you do this patina I, for other people other at people, Bronze. Yes, yes. So right. I, I can keep learning and, and it's, it's great. Well, and this is kind of a, a celebrity position that you get because you make the difference in their art. How you patina changes it. Because, okay, so this is an original. This is what a, an unpatinaed uh, unpatina. bronze. That's so beautiful. I, di I did not know that bronze, when you brush it up like that, lo looks oh, like that. Yeah, is it's it? really shiny. You know, some bronzes yeah. are, are shiny, and then I use like a black to make it darker in, in recesses and things. But a lot of different um, chemicals can be applied to this to make it different colors. So. You know, and I think bronze patina, I could be wrong on this. I did, I was telling you, I did a sculpture years ago before I moved to Prescott and, you know, went around and got it patinaed. And at that time, it seemed like bronzes were just all brown. I mean, literally, you, you coated the bronze, but it wasn't, it didn't have the detail. But I mean, look at this piece. For instance, it's got the white and the black and the, and, and you can kind of like car paint, you can see you, this <laughs> shimmering through. Oh yeah, right? yeah, I like to show a lot of bronze to make sure it's bronze, I like the glow of the metal and things, and that's control of the heat with patina. Um, doing it for so long, I know how much to put on and, and take off, and, and kind of, I work it kind of both ways, so I can have that vibrant look to, to the patina. Well, it really does. Even look at the, you know, you can see the inside of these, you know, the horns on this moose. It's just mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. So, so you, you paint it mm -hmm. and you're spraying it and then you can take some off if you don't like it. Yeah, and go back to it. So I, it, it's back and forth kind of process okay. and several steps in between. I do some acrylic and things, but it's uh, just so it's, neat to do it. So it's not all acrylic? No, no, it's, no. it's uh, it? chemical. Actually. Oh, chemical, it is chemical. Yeah, okay. on bronze. Yes. Yeah, so. All right. And then you touch it up. I mean, I'm looking at some of this. Is this patina? Is no, this that's all of, patina. Like, yeah, it, with, oh my with the gosh. different mixtures and things you that see I that do. Blue and green. I mean, seriously. So, again, you're like a cook in a kitchen in the sense mm -hmm. that you're putting things together to get different colors and different effects. Absolutely, yes. Wow. Do people request certain things, say, I want it to kind of look like this, and then you have to make up a way to make it look like that? Yes. I, I do a lot of experimenting, a lot of things. Um, I might do a bronze and re take it off and then do it again. We might do several steps to get really the look.
that we're looking for. Oh, okay. So, so it's heated up, and you're putting stuff on, and then you're kind of seeing what it's sort how of... it's developing okay. through the stages, and All it's right. kind of just magic, you know. I when I put it up on the stand, it, there it is. I, I can feel. I get into the piece, and I, I just yeah. want it to kind of talk back to me. So it's it. The patina when it comes together is just. How does it surprise you it, sometimes too? It, it does. I'll, I'll step back and go, wow, I, I really... That's amazing. I, yeah. It, now, when you get it, when you finally get it to where you want it, then does it look like this or do you fire it again? How does, how I does it work? I seal it with the lacquer and wax. Oh. Like you want to protect bronzes over a time. Um, and so you want to keep the, it, it waxed and, and that's how it stays. It, it'll seal the color. On, on the bronze after I, I put an acryl, a, okay. a lacquer over it. Okay. I guess that's a hard thing to imagine because it's all, it's, the heat is what brings that color the, that sets the color sets onto the it. Sets the color into the bronze. Okay, but you still have enough time to work with it to take it off and put mm -hmm. it back on and that kind of thing. I was joking, I love your brushes. These are like <laughs> patina brushes like this uh, one. I was like, okay, I'm sure it's, it, anyway. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyway, this reminds me of my makeup brushes. My makeup brushes get looking like this after a while, but but I've not been figured out how to seal it on so I don't have to do it every morning. Oh yeah, no. You know? it, it once it's <laughs> sealed and waxed, it's it's on. You know, you can set it up and and uh, right. it, it'll stay. Pretty well, you know, I think this is a fascinating thing, and I know that Bronze Smith does tours and things from time to time. You have anything oh, yes. like that coming up? Yes, we have a open house this this Friday, um, from nine to four. And the public's welcome to come and see the tour, see each step of the, the wax to the finishing, the pouring. We're going to have a pour at, at, at 10 and 12. And they're going to be able to see the actual pouring bronze into the, the uh, shells and things. And how the process, just how the whole process works, um, it's, just, it's great for somebody to see that just go through the motions when they bring a clay and, and the foundry has a lot. We have a lot of great people that are really skilled in, in being able to take it from the wax and metal and different departments and, and it's just a great team. Um, Bronsmith has been so great. I mean, it's... Yeah, they're amazing it, and they're it, in Prescott really Valley are. on 2nd yeah. Street. Yeah, 2nd Street right and it's behind, beautiful. you know, uh, uh, yeah, right on 2nd Street. Yeah, because um, it's amazing to me, you know, I mean, Bronsmith is just in itself a wonderful place to go. I mean, you know, want, you want to live there when you see it. It's like so cool with the courtyard and the sculptures mm -hmm. and just the architecture and everything. But I think that if you've never, you know, seen how it does, because it's the lost wax process it, that you It do. is, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And and that is, so, so they sculpt the clay and then they bring it into you and you guys do go through this whole process amazing miraculous process to it is to me I've seen it a dozen <laughs> times and I'm still amazed by how you make a mold and then cast it into this bronze into metal and then the patina and I tell you Carl these are absolutely beautiful oh, I mean you. they're there's some now you did a life-size coyote also. I did I, I just this coyote here was commissioned uh, by Camp Ver Campo Verde High School in Mesa okay. yeah. um, for the graduating class nice. of uh, 2016 and 17 and so I've, I've done a, a three foot tall sculpture wow. of it and that that is going that down is and big Kemberty <laughs> High School yeah the, and they're obviously the coyotes oh, oh yeah wow. yeah yeah so again uh, coming up uh, this uh, Saturday is it nine the, to four at Bronze uh, Smith? Friday Friday, right. 9 to 4 at Bronsmith, 2nd Bronze Street, Smith. Prescott Valley. You can mm -hmm. see how Carl does all this wonderful stuff. Thank you so much for hey, joining thank us. thank you very much. Thank beautiful, you. beautiful work. Oh, my goodness. I'm always astounded by that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, don't go away. We're going to be right back.